Dialogflow is the natural language understanding platform of Google that allows you to understand language in your chatbot. What Dialogflow tries to do is understand language based on examples that you give. For example, we can train Dialogflow on these three sentences. Can I have a pizza? May I have a pizza? And can I order a veggie pizza? So when a user asks your chatbot, can I order a veggie pizza? The chatbot can automatically respond, so you want a veggie pizza. It understands language. But Dialogflow can do much more. It can also be integrated with other systems, such as your order management system. So when the user asks if the chatbot can create an order for him, it will automatically go to that system. Now you know what Dialogflow is and why you should use it. I will give a quick tour of the interface of Dialogflow and talk a little bit about their pricing. Let's dive in. So if you go to console.dialogflow.com and you click on sign in with Google, choose your Google account, you will be automatically signed in with Dialogflow. And within Dialogflow, you can have multiple agents and each agent is its own chatbot. So if you go to the left hand side and click on create new agent, you can create your agent. So I will call this one test chatbot and I will just click on create. Once the agent is created, you will see on the left hand side intents and intents is used for understanding the intent of the user. Then we have entities. Entities is for grabbing useful information from users. So for example, when someone says, I want a veggie pizza, your chatbot can understand that they want a veggie pizza instead of a normal pizza. And we can do that by using entities. Knowledge is a beta feature, and you can use this feature to create your own knowledge base inside Dialogflow. Then you have fulfillment. You can use this to integrate Dialogflow with other systems, such as your customer management system. Then we have integrations. This is for integrating Dialogflow with other channels. For example, with your website or with Facebook, Slack, Telegram, that kind of channels. Then we have training. Once you've created your chatbot and your chatbot is live and users are actually using your chatbot, they will certainly ask questions your chatbot doesn't know the answer to. And you can find these questions inside the training overview. Then we have validation. This validation is by default disabled, but I would definitely recommend to enable it because then you let Dialogflow take a good guess on how they can improve this feature. So if you go to the settings and then go to ML settings, ML stands for machine learning, and just click on agent validation and you can, cl can click on train, then this feature will be enabled but currently these are we don't have any intents and we don't have any data that Dialogflow can work with. Then we have the history if people are using your chatbot you will find the history here and the same yields for the analytics of your chatbot you can also find that here but because no one used our chatbot yet it is empty. Then you have pre-built agents Pre-built agents are templates that Google already created that you can use in your Dialogflow chatbot. So for example, we can go to date, click on import, and we can select a new agent name. For example, we can call it test chatbot date, and we can create a new Google Cloud project or use one we already had. So I will just create a new one, and then we can say create agent from template. And then we can click on go to agent and we will automatically go to the new agent with all of the intents that belong to this template. Also, it already has some entities that we can use, the day of the week, the holiday, the unit time, and so on. So you can easily import any template and right off the bat, use it in your agent. And the last feature we can talk about is Smalltalk. Smalltalk is giving answers to standard questions such as who are you? Are you a chatbot? How old are you? That kind of simple questions that your chatbot can give an answer to. Then the last thing I will cover in this video is how expensive is Dialogflow? How much will it cost? So everything I told you until now is part of Dialogflow ES, Dialogflow Essentials. And Dialogflow Essentials is 
free. So by default, you will be using the trial edition, and this edition is free up until 180 requests per minute. If you go beyond the 180 requests per minute, you will go to the Essentials Edition and then will cost you less than one cent per request. Then you also have CX and I will cover Dialogflow CX in a separate video, but then it will cost $20 per 100 chat sessions. So that's a little bit different, but I think a lot of you won't go over the 180 requests per minute. So in essence, Dialogflow is just free. If you want more videos on how you can use chatbots in your marketing, please subscribe to my channel. And if you haven't done this yet, also click the like button below.